Hello and welcome. Last time, we did a bunch of stuff to basically start out, and now we've got a party of 87, and we are about to ride off to war against the Novgorod Republic, who are way over there. Where did I go? There I am. Lithuania is right here. And I think we may be prone to uh, go to war against them as well. I'm not entirely sure of that, but uh, it, it might happen. As I've said before, these, uh, these Baltic nations over here, we will almost certainly be going to war with them. Well, the marshals of the Teutonic Order have decided to begin raiding Izborsk, the town that I had considered raiding last time. What? Well, we'll let them have that one, as it is a little dangerous. I should probably go up there, though, in case the uh, forces of Novgorod come to oppose them. Significant group of enemies spotted near Rosedin. You also have to watch these notifications down here, because they uh, show you things. I'm not actually sure where Rosedin is. Now, see... This is one of those times that I'm not sure if I'm just inept at geography or if Rosidin actually just doesn't exist anymore in the modern era. Huh. I'm tempted to raid this hamlet here. Though I'm not sure that's an entirely uh, sound plan. Let's just keep going into enemy territory and see what we can get. I'd really like to take on one of the lords and perhaps capture him for ransom, as that is a very quick way of making money. However, that's also a difficult task for sure. Well, it's time to pay our first dues. Fortunately, we get tons of income from Brownsburg, so that pretty much negate well, almost negates the cost of the party. Costs do definitely get very high in this mod, though, so uh, we definitely need some constant sources of income. And I am an idiot, and Rosadin is right there, right next to Isborsk. Apparently, they already looted it, but the lords have gathered near here to defeat the enemy, so I am coming to aid them in case the enemy is nearby. Which, ve which may very well be the case. And here we spot our first prey, Sviatoslav Sievolodovich. Let's engage. You are a horsehead, apparently. The Lord of Kulm and a random burrow. There you are. They know me as Herr Gustav the Ninth. Mark it down. You should be hearing of me a lot. I shall say this only once. Surrender or die. Well, we're going to take the field and see what happens. We have an advantage on them by ten troops. Let's see if that's enough. To charge across the snow-filled fields of Russia. Also, why are my calv cav cavalry charging? I did not instruct them to do so. Oh well. I guess everybody's... I guess everybody was charging every way. Anyway, thanks for disobeying me, guys. Oh boy. Not smart. Come here, you. Looks like they got a lot of really sophisticated troops, but we are definitely getting the better of them. I do have some skill in horse archery, which should make me able to take out some of these horseback guys. One of which is going to be their leader. Now, as far as I know, actually capturing the leader seems to be sort of based on a random chance. Also, I love this sword for uh, horseback combat. This is fantastic. Look at that. Look at that. I just advanced to level 3. I have lost uh, 
Not as many men as I would have expected from this sort of battle. Also, why am I doing this? I have a sword. Ooh! Ooh, my horse. Oh, my horse. Oh, my shield. Oh, man. Oh, man. This is what we call bad. Oh, man. Oh, man. Help me, dude. Help me. Ooh, an axe. Not a, I don't want that club. I want the axe. Because axes are worth money. Why not grab another one? Oh, drop the bow. As I have said, I do need money, so I am picking up all this stuff because I can sell it then after the battle. Come here, you. Batter up! Yeah! This is the power of the axe. Do not disrespect it. And I dropped my bow so I could pick up stuff to buy. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and that is our first military victory. Mark it down, for there shall be many more. Fifteen killed, nineteen wounded. Well, we killed seventy-one of theirs and wounded six. And, of course, he managed to escape. However, I, I don't have prisoner management. Great. However, we got loot. And we need food very badly. They do not drop any food. Great. Alright, so we were able to upgrade a bunch of our troops. And now it's time to upgrade myself. Let's see here. Prisoner management I definitely want. This is based on charisma. Hmm. I'm going to take intelligence and get one more. I want inventory management. One-handed weapons for sure, as well as... Eh, two-handed weapons can, can never hurt because I tend to pick them up. Now, we only have 55 troops for fighting, so we definitely don't want to get into another fight like that. Let us introduce ourselves to these two lords, however. Hello, Ritterbruder Conrad von Feuchtwagen. I'm at your service. I granted myself as a thief, yes. What is it? Um. Uh, I, I, I gotta go now. Dude, sorry, man. This is awkward, I know. I just got a phone call. Okay, Hartmann von Heldrungen. Heldrungen. I try. All right. So he likes me. You know, sometimes they just flat out don't like you, and then you have to kind of work. But yeah, these guys seem okay. Okay. This is serious. There was this little battle going on here. I wasn't going to run in to help because it seemed pretty hopeless. Look at this. Like, everybody from both sides is joining this fight. This is ridiculous. Definitely joining this fight. Well, this is intense. I think we have this one fairly in hand, though it will take a while. We do outnumber them. I believe we have like 1,100 troops to their 400, so uh, this is not going to last long for them. I don't even have to have like any of my men on the battlefield. Ooh, 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 I wonder if I can ride that horse. Because if I can, and I survive the battle, and that's a big if. I get to keep... Aww. Well, it was a nice thought. Where, oh boy. Hey you! Ha <laughs> ha! Horses! Horses! That could have been bad. I think one hit from a spear will, will kill me instantly. So uh, I want to stay away from those. Whoa. 
They've got like uh, horseback javelin ears. I'm not sure I've ever seen that before. I think that's a turkopole. Or maybe not. I don't know. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I think that's a glaive. That's a sight. Nah. And we win. Might as well pick up some stuff. Aha! Victory of the highest degree. Okay, so it wasn't a decisive victory. I guess we have to do this again. This time we outnumber them. We have 1,000 troops more than they do. I'm feeling good about this. Oh my horse. Oh man. Come on, die already. I want your horse. Sir, thank you. I appreciate it. I'll give it back. I promise. There's a courser over there. I think that's an upgrade over Rouncy. Come on, come back here. Don't be like this. Come on. Oh, come on. Get back. What are you doing? Oh, we won, by the way. Apparently. While I was chasing that horse, apparently we won. So, yay. Okay, apparently we gotta do this again. Wow, this is getting old. Alright. Come here. Oh! Oh! Well... That definitely could have gone better. Okay, so I guess I just have to order my allies to attack now. And we win. Big surprise. Yes, I could have done this to begin with, but we lose a ton less men if I go out on the battlefield myself. It seems to just randomly assign troops to die when you uh, have the AI do it. But uh, this is a good way to introduce ourselves to some of the lords. Diedrich von Grinnigan. Hello there, my helmet does not match my uniform. And... Ho oh, ho, we actually captured Daniil Romanovich. Which is excellent. And Yaroslav Silver. That name. And now we get to capture the troops. Which we can sell at uh, certain taverns if a ransom broker is there. Can I fit? Yeah, I think I can get all these guys. No, I, I don't think I can actually. Uh, whatever, it's fine. Let's see what we got for items here. Not much. Oh, rusty mail? No, that's that's no good. So that is how you create a distinct advantage for your military. Just wipe out everybody at once. Now Charles here, we can upgrade him in several ways. First of all, his equipment. Fur coat with a Lamler vest is actually not bad. We can give him a fur hat, though. He has no weapons. Um, I don't want to give him a sword right away just because, well, the swords are valuable. Um, we could definitely give him a shield. Uh, apparently, he can't use hand axes. Well, you can definitely use a spear. Alright, you got a spear and a shield. That's your specialty. And now, your skills. He is the medical expert of the party. So you definitely want to increase surgery. Reduces deaths. Strength if we want him to fight on the battlefield. And give him polearm proficiency, for sure. And now it's time to upgrade myself. Once again, I want to put points into intelligence simply because, well, I want skill points. Let's see here. We could go for a weapon master, which certainly wouldn't hurt. Uh, shield certainly wouldn't hurt. Athletics, though. 
to chase down people. Man, we are hurting. We have 26 troops fit for battle. I think we gotta camp out a little bit here. We're gonna go to Dorpat and camp out. So we're going to go to the Lord's Hall here because a couple of guys just ran in. Boy, I thought these were the Lords, but these are just the guards. I think I picked the right faction. So here we have uh, Heinrich. He's a bishop. Ah, oh, you've heard of my conquests, I see. <laughs> I might as well start asking for tasks. No tasks there. Let's see here. Johann von Bardewis. Minor errands? Nope. Well, well, it certainly doesn't hurt to introduce yourself. I'm going to continue waiting because, well, I took quite a beating there and it will take time to recover. And the Baltic nations are already declaring war on each other. And this is one of the reasons why they're such an easy target. Unless, of course, one of them completely dominates all the others, then they become a pretty uh, considerably dangerous force. But at the moment that has not happened, and uh, I would prefer if we went to war with them sooner rather than, than later. Because the, the sooner you fight them, the much more uh, divided and weak they are. So, we need to go to town because our inventory is full. We've got a bunch of prisoners. So we're going to go to Rival, which is a uh, Danish-occupied city. Who knows how long that'll last. But for the moment, it is. So let's go to the tavern first. Ransom Broker is present. Well done. Also, thank you for making me climb these stairs. I appreciate it. I want to sell all the prisoners. 1,817 dinars. And that doesn't include the lords. So, we need to replenish our men after all that fighting, so we're going to hire a mercenary company. See what that actually gets us. Well, just... Basic Scandinavian mercenaries, I guess. Which is certainly not a bad thing. These, uh, One thing that I've learned from this mod is that uh, a large axe is very deadly. I probably didn't need to play this to learn that, but, uh, well, it, uh, it was an affirmation of my suspicions. Now, I've got to press my advantage here. I mean, the entire military of Novgorod has just been routed. And, I mean, it is the perfect time to dive straight in. Uh, I was going to raid that, but okay, go ahead, you, you enjoy that. What I don't like about this place is that everything is so spread out. However, that's a minor complaint considering how rich it is with various types of loot. 